Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is using compass and straight edge to bisect line segments and angles and construct perpendiculars and parallels. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 4. Hi Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know Here are our objectives. Number one, use compass and straight edge to bisect line segments and angles. Number two, construct perpendiculars, parallels, congruent segments, and angles with the help of compass and straight edge. Number three, draw an image according to the given lengths and directions. What is it? According to Erdogan 2010, compass and straight edge are more important in constructing geometric structure than other drawing tools such as rulers and protractors. Here is our compass. Here is our straight edge. With the use of compass and straight edge, you can perform basic construction in geometry. Compass Compass is a drawing instrument used for drawing circles and arcs. It has two legs, one with a point and the other with a pencil or lead. You can use a compass to draw or construct an arc or a circle, given that the center point and the radius of the circle are stated. Straight Edge It is a tool used for drawing straight lines or checking their straightness. If it has equally spaced markings along its length, it is used with a called ruler. You can use straight edge to construct a line, ray, or segment when two points are given. Do you want to see compass and straight edge in action? Let's see how they are used in constructing different geometric figures. Construction Construction number one. Construct a segment congruent to a given segment. Our given is line segment XY. This is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. First, use the straight edge to draw a line and draw a point on the line and name it as point M. Number two, set the compass opening that matches the length of a line segment XY. Number three, use the compass opening in step two and put it on the line containing point M with the same distance of line segment XY. Draw a point on the other end and name it point N. Now I will show you the actual construction. Here is our given. Step 1. Draw a straight line. And name it as point M. Step 2. Measure the opening of line segment XY. Now here is the distance of point X and point Y. Step 3. Now place it in point M. Now draw a point on the other end and name it point N. Construction number 2. Construct an angle congruent to the given angle. Our given is angle X. Here is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. Number 1. Using a straight edge, draw a ray with endpoint M. Number 2, going back to the given, draw an arc with center X and passing the side of angle X at point Y and point C respectively. Now go back to ray M. Draw a similar arc using center M with length similar to line segment XY and name the point of intersection of ray M 
as point N. Number 4. Go back to the given and set the compass opening to the length of YZ. Number 5. Using N as a center and YZ as radius, assign the point where the pencil points as point P. Then, draw the arc from N to P. Number 6. Draw array MP to complete angle M congruent to angle X. Now I will show you the actual construction. Step 1. Draw a ray. Name the endpoint of the ray, point M. Step 2. Let's measure line segment XZ and line segment XY. Let's draw an arc. Step 3. Draw a similar arc using center M with length similar to the line segment XY. Then name it point N. Step number 4. Go back to the given and set the compass opening to the length of YZ. Step 5. Using N as center and YZ as radius, assign the point where the pencil. Step 6. Draw array MP to complete angle M congruent to angle X. Then draw an arc from P to N. Construction number 3. Construct the bisector of a given angle. Now what is bisector? The bisector of an angle is the ray through the vertex and the interior of the given angle which divides it into two angles with equal measures. Our given is angle X. Here is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. Number 1. Place points Y and Z on both sides of angle X respectively, where line segment XY is equal to line segment XZ, and draw an arc between points Y and Z with center X. Second step. Using Z as the center and any radius, Draw an arc of a circle in the interior of angle X. See to it that the arc is more than half of the length of YZ. Step 3. Using Y as the center and with the same radius in step 2, draw an arc of a circle intersecting the first arc in step 2 and name the point of intersection as point W. Step number 4. Draw a line segment XW which is the bisector of angle YXZ. Now I will show you the actual construction. Step 1. Place points Y and Z on both sides of angle X respectively. Step 2. Using Z as the center of N radius, draw an arc of a circle in the exterior of angle X. Step 3. Now same as in point Y. Mark it as point W. Step number 4. Draw array XW which is the bisector of angle YXZ. Construction number 4. Construct the midpoint of a line segment. For our given, we have line segment AC. Here is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. Step number 1. Locate the endpoint of the compass to point A and the other endpoint to end radius, which is more than half of line segment AC. Step number 2. Create an arc passing through end radius in step 1. Step number 3. Do the same process in step 1 and 2, but this time use point C as the center of the circle and name the point of intersection of the two arcs as point D and E, respectively. Step number 4. Use a straight edge to create a segment connecting point D and E. Step 5. Name the point of intersection of line segment AC and line segment DE as point B. And point B is the midpoint of line segment AC. 
I will show you the actual construction. Step 1. Locate the endpoint of the compass to any radius. Step 2. Let's create an arc. Step 3. Do the same in step 1 and 2, but this time use point C as the center. Step 4. Now let's connect the segment. Name as point D and point E. Step 5. We can say that point B is the midpoint. Construction number 5. Construct the midpoint and perpendicular bisector of a segment. First, let's identify the midpoint. The midpoint of a line segment is the midpoint of the line segment that divides the segment into two equal parts. While the perpendicular bisector of a line segment is the line perpendicular to the line segment and the midpoint of the segment. Our given is line segment XY. Here is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. Step 1. Locate point C as the midpoint of line segment XY so that the line segment XZ is equal to line segment ZY. Step 2. Using center X and any radius, which is more than half of the line segment XY, draw two arcs on the upper and lower part of segment XY. I will show you the actual construction. Step 1. Create point Z as the midpoint of line segment XY. Step 2. Using center X and any radius, draw two arcs on the upper and lower part of line segment XY. Construction number 6. Construct a perpendicular bisector of the given line through a given point on the line. Given line Q and point M on Q. Here is our illustration. Now let's follow the following steps. Step 1. Using center M and any radius, locates two points A and B on the circle, which are on line Q, where line segment AM is equal to line segment MB. Step 2. Draw a line perpendicular to line Q, crossing through point M, and name it as line P. Take note, since line segment AB and line segment MB are equal, M is the midpoint of line segment AB, and line P is the perpendicular bisector of line Q. Now I will show you the actual construction. Here is our given. Step 1. Using point M as midpoint, locate two points to create a line segment that are congruent. Name as point A and point B. Step 2. Draw a line perpendicular to line Q, crossing through point M and name it as line P. Construction number 7. Construct a perpendicular bisector of the given line to a given point not on the line. Given line T and point N, which is not on C. Here is our illustration. Now follow the following steps. Step 1. Using N as a center, draw arcs of the circle using N radius which crosses line T and mark the point of intersections of the arc as point A and B. Step 2. Draw a line using point N intersecting line T and name the point of intersection as point M, which is the midpoint of AB. Take note, since line segment AB is equal to line segment MB, so, line N is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Now, I will show you the actual construction. Here is our given. Step 1. Using N as center, draw arcs of the circle using any radius which crosses line T 
and mark it as point A and point B. Step 2 Now that we have point A and point B on the line, draw a line using point N. Intersecting line T and name the point of intersection as point M. Construction number 8. Construct a line parallel to a given line through a point not on the line. Given line K and point N, which is not on K. Here is our illustration. Now follow the following steps. Step 1. From point N, draw a perpendicular line T to line K. Step 2. Draw N. Draw the perpendicular line S to line T. Take note, since the two corresponding angles are equal, then the two lines are parallel. I will show you the actual construction. Here is our given. Step 1. From line N, draw a perpendicular line T to line K. Step 2. Draw N, draw the perpendicular line S to line T. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!